Hello everyone. Let's talk about Cayley graphs. Cayley graphs are very powerful tools from group theory. And if you do not know anything about groups, do not worry. Uh, we will understand that from this particular video as well. Let's look at the number 8. We will make a set of all numbers that are smaller than 8 than 8 and that has 8 CF 1 with 8 8 CF 1 so that number and 8 has, has 8 CF 1 so all such numbers uh, positive numbers by the way positive numbers so for example 1 is such a number 3 is another number, 5 is another number, 7 is another number. So in this particular case, 8 CF of 1 and 8 is 1, 8 CF of 3 and 8 is 1, 8 CF of 5 and 8 is 1, and 8 CF of 7 and 8 is 1. So that's why I have put 1, 3, 5 and 7 in this set. The set has a special name, it's known as a reduced residue class, residue class of 8. Now, let's use this reduced residue class to understand Cayley graph. What we will do is, we will create four points, so make, maybe I can make this smaller, four points because there are four members of this set. Let's call this one 1, 3, 5, and 7. Next, we want to add some edges to this graph, to this set of points, to this set of points. Uh, but we want to do this cleverly. Uh, to do it, we have to understand how to combine elements of this set. So there is a rule of combining elements of this set. What are the rules? Well, there is a, suppose A and B are two elements from the set 1, 3, 5, 7 then we are defining a combination called star this is a an operation and how this operation works okay you can do a star b in two steps step one and step two step one is multiply a and b step two is divide this product by eight and look at the remainder Whatever the remainder is, whatever the remainder is, that is A star B. That is the value of A star B. So let me look at an example. If you want to do 3 star 5, 3 star 5, then step 1, multiply 3 and 5. That gives you 15. Step 2, Divide 15 by 8 and look at the remainder. The remainder is 7. So um, 3 star 5 is by definition 7. Okay, That's how this particular operation, this star operation works. We want a subset of this set called the set of generators. So we want a subset of 1, 3, 5, and 7 with this operation star. So we have to think of this set 1, 3, 5, 7 and this operation star together. Think of them together. Okay. We want a subset of that that can create all the elements of this set. What do I mean by that? It means 
think of that subset as the building blocks building blocks of this set so for example I could put 3 in that set and I could put 5 in that set why because notice that using 3 and 5 I can create 7 right we just saw 3 star 5 is 7 so we don't need to create we don't need to take 7 separately we can just use 3 and 5 as building blocks and create 7 out of it using this operation star in fact we can create 1 as well just do 3 star 3 3 star 3 is 1 why again you can do the two step operation step 1 3 times 3 so that's 9 step 2 you divide 9 by 8 and look at the remainder that's 1 so that's the remainder so that's the output of 3 star 3 okay so in short you can create both 7 and 1 using just 3 and 5 you cannot do just with 3 because 3 will create itself of course that's there and no matter how many time you start 3 with 3 you will get 1 and 3 and then again 1 and so on so if you just look at 3 you can, you're only creating 1 and 3 if you just look at 5 you can test you're only creating 1 and 5 but if you take both 3 and 5 you're also creating 7 you're also creating one so you have the entire set so let's look quickly look at what we have learned so far so far this is the story we have the set 1357 and let's call this set G and we have a set S which is a subset of this set G we took that set as 3 and 5 and this set is known as the set of generators of G. Why? Because using the star operation and using these two elements, we can create all the elements of this set. Okay, so that's great. Now we come back to the picture. Remember, we had four dots, one, three, five, and seven. How do we create the edges? Well, we will create the edge in this way. X, X, S. So if X is, a, is an element, let's say 3, we will multiply 3, we will start 3 with an element from the generating set and whatever that is so 3 star 3 and 3 star 5 we have two choices so 3 star 5 3 star 3 is 1 and 3 star 5 is 7 so with 3 we will join these two edges these these two vertices so 3 1 and 3 7 3 1 and 3 7 why because 7 is after all 3 star 5 and 1 is after all 3 star 3 and notice that this, this second element is actually coming from the set S. So with 3 we have 2 dots, uh, 2 edges coming out of 3. What about uh, 5? So again, if I want to know how many edges are coming out of 5, I have to multiply 5 with 5 or star 5 with 5 and I have to star 5 with 3. If I star 5 with 3, I'll get 7. So I'll join, this is 7. So I'll join 5 and 7 and this is 1 so I'll join 5 and 1. So again from 5 we have 2 edges coming out, 
5 and 1, 5 and 7. Now let's look at uh, 7, the vertex 7. So 7 star 3 and 7 star 5. What is 7 star 3? Let's look at 7 star 3. 7 star 3 is first you do 7 times 3 which is 21. You divide 21 by 8 and you get 5 as the remainder. This is the remainder. So, so you have to join 7 with 7 star 3 which you know is 5. So you have to join 7 and 5 but that's already there. It's already joined. What about uh, 7 star 5? Okay, so that's 7 times 5. That's 35. Divide 35 with 8 and the remainder is 3. So how would you do it? So you would have to join 7 and 7 star 5, which is 3. So every time I am multiply, I am joining x with xs, where s is coming from the generators. So we am joining this with a line, x with xs. Okay, great. But that is also there. 7 and 3 are already joined. So this is the complete picture. This is the complete picture. So this is known as the Cayley graph. The Cayley graph. Cayley graph of uh, the set or the group 1357. So the first example. So here the group is 1357. What is a group? It's a set and a given operation star in this case the operation star is multiply first and then divide by 8 to find remainder so that's the operation two step operation which gives an output if you start two elements and the set and this particular set needs to have some properties. I'm not going into that at the moment because my goal is to study the Cayley graph. And what is the Cayley graph? Well, you create a vertex for each element of this set. Like this we have created here and then we can join these two and we can join these two so this is the picture this is the final picture and the interesting part is this that the scaly graph the edges the vertices are the elements of the set but the edges are like this if x is an element then you multiply x with s where S is a generating set. So I have chosen the generating set to be 3 and 5. So every time I take an element X, I multiply it with the generator. An element of the generating set is a generator. So I multiply it with S and I will join that edge. And when I'm saying multiply, I'm actually saying do X star S. So X and X star S. Okay. So this is a very nice example, a small example, but a nice example of a Cayley graph. Think about it. Uh, can you think about other groups and create Cayley graphs of other groups as well? This is part of the group theory module at Chinta College Mathematics program. Um, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next one.